Hey folks, this morning we went over the ozone hole getting massive this year, and it surely is. After they told us things were calming down and it was recovering, after telling us that the reduction in pollution was going to fix the problem, it hasn't. A brief recovery last year appears to be a fluke as the previous couple years also brought extremely large holes. We have been discussing this for years and saying it was going to continue, but I'm reading your comments from the morning show, and many of you are discussing the Tonga eruption and someone who claimed it would produce a massive ozone hole this year. Yes, I know who it is, and I like the guy. I really do. But science is dispassionate and not personal, and we simply cannot look to this volcano as blame for the ozone hole. The Tonga eruption happened on January 15th, 2022 and it went around the world including the polar region within just a couple of weeks the atmosphere largely stabilized from that event with rain and snow reducing the amount of extra vapor in the southern hemisphere by a year later and if the volcano was going to impact the ozone surely it would have happened last time the season came around in september of 2022 when the distribution of the particulate matter was well saturating the southern polar region this year far less prevalent, and it cannot be blamed for this year's ozone hole. With the magnetic field continuing to fade, with solar maximum in play and particle forcing nearing its peak, this is the answer, the protons and electrons from the solar wind and solar eruptions. This is how you explain the massive ozone hole this year, and it's been what we've been watching for and discussing the last several years. The ozone holes are going to continue to be on the larger end. We plan to do a special article on this in the upcoming edition of Observer Review, our monthly e-magazine, going over the evidence that this event is all about the sun and Earth's weakening magnetic field. I'll see you in the morning for The Daily Show. Be safe, everyone.